Tyler, was there any shaking the rust off last week that, that you felt like you was necessary and did you feel like you were back to, to being yourself today? Um, last week, uh, it was it's, it's rough I, I, at a couple of times. It just depends on what I'm doing. Um, you may not be able to really tell too much, but um, there are a couple of spots and times where it is a little rough to move, um, you know, but it did feel better this week. Uh, I don't know if it was maybe you know, not as, as many situations that it was last week, but um, but no, I mean, it's, it's definitely better this week. I know last week I had a lot of press coverage, so you got to move a lot more laterally, which puts more stress, you know, kind of way. But um, other than that, I mean, I feel pretty good. The broadcast call, been peeking your way on that first touchdown several times. What did you guys see on that first touchdown? He said there was kind of an improvisation there. Improvisation there. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it was. Uh, they went cover two. Um, it was supposed to be uh, like a kind of like an hour out to Will Pauly, um, kind of like a short down of distance call. And um, actually, our receivers coach was kind of behind me yelling, "Cover two, cover two. So uh, you know, we kind of all see it, and uh, you know, so that means I got to be alert for kind of the whole shot between the corner and the safety. And uh, that's kind of, you know, how it worked out, caught up between the safeties and uh, let him make a play. How much does that speak to you and Ben being on the same page? Why is that such a big deal? Yeah, I mean, it's huge because, I mean, you, know, you need to make plays like that. You know, it's a short down and distance uh, type of play. And, you know, we're obviously trying to win the game. And so uh, just making sure we're on the same page and um, in all situations of the game, um, you know, so you can connect. You know, because, you know, I mean, there was one pass where we actually – Misconnected. It was like a, I think we were going tempo, and uh, they played cover two, and I ran like a dig route, and um, you know he was expecting me to be in the first window, and I was actually in the second window, kind of expecting the ball. Um, so plays like that, you know, where it's like you got to be on the same page, and, you know, because every play, especially when you face Navy, you know, every play drive is critical because you know you're gonna have you know these positions. That's the ball that was a little bit behind you, right? Yeah. yeah. When you were coming back from the ankle, you talked about which you able to run that. Post that you might so well. The second touchdown seemed like it felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, you know, I, you can obviously take some stuff. Um, you know, but you know, it felt pretty good. Um, biggest thing there is, you know, I, I'm not be able, I'm not able to run as I guess fast as I can. Um, so I guess the biggest thing is really honing in on my technique, and you know, specifically on that one, um, just really being able to use my body, you know, body language. You know, may I, you know, I may not be running my fast or sprinting, but you have to make everything look the same, you know, and um, just really taking coaching um, and make sure you're giving, you know, nods and ticks like that, things at the top of the route, uh, so you can create separation. Tyler, you and Trey have been the, the top two leading receivers this, this season, but how what, how beneficial is it to have a guy like Jayon Thompson go out there and have a career high in yards and really make some big plays down the field? No, I mean, it's good. It takes a lot of pressure off, uh, you, know, so, you know, us, you know, we've kind of been kind of the two, you know, horses, you know, out there receiver, and, um, you know, it's just good to see other guys make plays. You know, they work hard and, um, you know, just seeing them be able to just kind of just play, you know, not have to worry about too much, you know, finally, you know, get a ball in their hands, make a move. You know, Chris Scott, you know, he's a guy that he does a lot of dirty work, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just getting a ball in their hands and be able to just, you know, feel it, catch and run. You know, you just, for me personally, like, I, I feel good for those guys, you know, because you just know how hard they work and, you know, obviously people didn't come here just to block and, you know, things of that nature, but, um, you know, everybody's got it. You know, selfish ambitions. Um, you know, but it's just good to see that. Ben, you let them know you're done blocking after getting rolled up. <laughs> no, no, I, mean, I was in, I was in there on quite, on quite a few uh, run plays. Actually, the play that I got hurt on. I, was I know that's what I'm saying. After that, yeah, I was. <laughs> no, it's, it's none of that here. You got a new job. Um, but no, yeah, I was in there. Uh, you know, I was. You know, all we were joking all week. Like, gonna be PTSD going in here. <laughs> um, you know, going in here trying to do the same play from the same, you know. So uh, I made sure I didn't stop in the hole. Made sure that you know if I missed, I missed going 100. Um, but I actually had a pretty good block on that uh, on the actual play. Uh, they were good. I think Chuck you know, had a pretty good game. So that was nice. And then you went over and told Coach Brown, "Don't do it again." <laughs> <laughs> they actually did it again. <laughs> uh, you're seven and two, four and one in conference. How, how do you feel about this team's position right now? As you start to look towards the stretch run this season. Yeah, uh, Coach Figg just said, you know, everything that we want is still in front of us. Um, you know, we, we want an opportunity to play, play for championships. That's what we said at the beginning of the year. And, uh, you know, that's still our goal, and uh, that's where our sights are headed on. Nip at night is one of the things that makes playing here so special. How much are you looking forward to next week's game in that environment? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've been at my share of Nip at, uh, Nip at night since I've been here, and uh, it gets pretty electric. 
And um, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, kind of when you get in situations like that, you kind of have like uh, kind of aha moments where you just kind of sit back and you're like, wow, like I'm really, you know, I'm really doing this. You know, like you grow up, you know, seeing you know crowds and your vision playing in front of crowds and you know stuff like that and that type of energy and you know you get in front of those crowds and things of that nature and I have those opportunities. You're just, you're just grateful, you know, to see those things and be able to be a part of them. Ben was over 70% completion. You talked about taking some of the intermediate underneath stuff. How much did that help you guys find a rhythm and flow that maybe you haven't had as much of that? Before? No, yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of just within the game plan. You know, they kind of came out and they played, you know, pretty much what we thought. Um, and so just really, um, we really stressed a quick game all week, quick game all week, um, just really getting the ball out and letting us, uh, letting us make plays and run. We're able to do that and, and uh, you know, try to set them up, you know, for post routes. They make sure we're a lot of outs. And, um, you know, we're hopefully going to catch them catch them deep and we did um, but yeah just making sure that and as a receiver just got to be a reliable target you know just making sure that when our opportunities do come our way especially underneath that we make them you know get the guys coming up and, um, you know we're able to make plays any questions for Tyler thank you sir thank, thank you Tyler